Welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. Uh, bought another knife. This time I didn't buy it on Wish though. I bought it from Anaconda. I saw this uh, this Gerber folding knife which was advertised as a cleaver and Anaconda confidently assured me in the ad that this was the, the next coming thing and I went, oh, I might get in on this in the early stages and I'll be ahead of the game. What do you think? I'm not quite sure. Is this going to catch on? Let me open it and let's see what uh, let's see what it's all about, and then we'll put it to its through its paces. The problem with this packaging. You actually need the knife to, un to, to get it out of the packaging. It's, uh, it's not even funny anymore. And the stuff is sharp. Ow! Trying not to act like a big baby here, but I don't want to mark this. That's the other thing. And there's no instructions on how to get it out. Anyway. Reasonably well put together. Gerber's got a fairly decent reputation in the business, so much so that Bear Grylls has actually partnered with them and they're a sponsor of his. But this particular knife, there's not a lot to it. It's wouldn't call it no frills because it, it is reasonably strong. It's got the Gerber logo there and it's got some sort of uh, a number there which it has a, a little if not if tight but um, handy belt clip and the regular locking mechanism there spring loaded and that's the spring for it there. There's not a lot to say to this. It's actually a, 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 a concave blade shape. It's got a, a cut out there for weight reduction. It doesn't do anything else. It hasn't got bottle openers and survival stuff. It's just a straight cleaver. So let's put it to a test and see how it performs. Before we go outside, um, as, I've, as I started with the last knife, is a, some sort of standardisation in testing. And here I have my piece of pine. Now, because this is a, oh, this is a nice little feature there. Put your finger there and you're not going to lose it. Um, this isn't necessarily a, an outdoorsy type knife, although that's performing reasonably well in shaving this pine. Let's take it outside and see what, how it performs outside. All right, so out in the outdoors with the, the Gerber cleaver or flat iron. Let's see how it's going to perform. Let's see what it, what it looks like. Yeah, it really, it, it's not just shaving. Have a look. It's, uh, it's quite a, an efficient blade. It's giving good good penetration of that fairly seasoned eucalypt wood so so as a knife as a straight knife it's work it's performing quite well let's see it how it actually performs in the kitchen hey we're in the kitchen now we'll give the uh, the flat iron the Gerber flat iron the, the cleaver uh, a go in the kitchen now the reason why a cleaver works so well is when you're cutting your knuckles aren't impacting on the board so when you're cutting something your knuckles are free even with a, a chef knife the chef knives are so popular because you can rock that that's actually rounded and you can rock on the blade and still not impact your knuckles problem with this knife here it doesn't work as either of those even with this little finger guard here it doesn't actually work like a cleaver technically you need to be cutting 
from the side so your knuckles are down. Same with a, a straight knife, a filleting knife. Um, you can't use it here unless you're only using this very short part of the blade. You have to use it from the side. Let's give it a quick go here and see how it performs on kitchen stuff. Now, obviously, this is only an onion and it's uh, it's fairly soft, but again, it's it's supposed to be a, uh, a carving knife. So let's see how it, how it works. It's impacting on my knuckles, so I'm gonna take it over to the side here. Um, and I'm gonna continue cutting here. Yeah, that's that's a little, little awkward there. I'll try. I'm ambidextrous, but with cutting and precision, I'd like to use my right. I'm a little bit right hand dominant. Got a good action. And stuff isn't sticking to the blade. In a bush situation, if you're bush cooking, I don't think you'd have an issue. I think it's uh, quite okay making a bit of a hash of this because I'm not concentrating on the job. Let's see how it's going to cut something that isn't. It's probably a little bit more challenging. It isn't long enough to cut this bread that way. The blade shape, oh, look at that. That's really quite, quite good. Got some beautiful olive bread here. Let's see how the chef knife, and that's been recently sharpened. Yeah, it's not as good a cut as the as the Gerber. And the, I'm not even going to bother with the cleaver, although the cleaver is uh, is reasonably sharp. Um, okay, so what else? Okay, here's a challenge for most knives. How does it cut through a tomato? Oh, look at that. Try that with my cleaver and I'll flatten it. Oh no, see that shows you how well I sharpen my knives. Um, I was expecting to squash that. No, come on, don't let me down now. Actually, I could have made short work of that with the, the Gerber. Can you see that? Yeah, this is a beautifully sharp knife. The shape really adds to its utility in the kitchen. I reckon in a bush kitchen, that'd be fantastic. All right, just make a bit of room here. This is a pumpkin that we have grown in the garden here. Pumpkins generally, You've got to attack them with a cleaver or you've really got to put some work in with a chef knife. Let's see what the Gerber flat iron makes of this little beauty. Again, not very long. So I'm going to have to come at it from an angle. But yeah, wow, that is doing a much better job than this did in the for, for the last pumpkin. Yeah, look. And, and that sort of delicacy. It's a reasonably mobile knife because it's, it can move it in, in, during the cut, which is quite handy for things like what I'm trying to do here is take skin off pumpkin. I need to give it a score. So let's, let's put a couple of factors in for its build quality. And generally what it is, it's a, it's a sturdy knife. The blade shape is pretty good and I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna give it a final score of 4.25 out of five. I like this knife. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Please leave us a comment. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And thanks for watching.